Hey everyone, I am with my friend John Frankel. He is one of the top VCs in New York City and I am here with him. It's, whoo, there's a big thing going by. <laughs> South by Southwest, we were just starting an amazing conversation. John asked me this question, Mark, is it 1994 or 1999? What do you mean by that, John? I mean, my question is, really, things feel greater. You come to South by and it feels the tech, the entrepreneurial community just feels massive and it's only a fraction of folks are here. It does make you wonder whether this is a bubble, whether yeah. we're at the peak, yeah. whether next year things will be, you know, smaller. Yeah. And, you know, I really want to get your perspective on this because yeah. when I look at it, I look at the world and say... But well, we kind of agreed on it. Yeah. You know, and, what, and our answer was 90, 94. 94, and the reason why we said 94 was simply this. If you look at things you do every day, things like being on Facebook or Twitter or Netflix, uh, engagement in various games and apps, none of those existed in mainstream world seven, eight, ten years ago. The iPhone, Android phone, etc. And so if you look at that, all of the things that drive those are exponential curves and they just carry on growing so it's a secular shift and it's going to be incredibly disruptive across the board and you know now I'm thinking about it at Uber at other experiences you do today and say how much of the things I spend time on today didn't exist 10 years ago and if it's exponential curves powering that your life 10 years from now there's gonna be 30 40 percent of things you spend your time engagement on that just are not around and so I look at that and I go this is going to be a time of massive change disruption yeah it'll be good it'll yeah. be bad um, but um, it's going to be now and tell me are there one or two things you're seeing at South by one or two themes that are like really getting you really juiced up about this growth in this future well we're not thematic investors but I yeah. want to give you an example okay um, Indiegogo which is a company we invested in back sure. in 2011 uh, and it's the world's largest crowdfunding platform. These guys in Australia said, hey, we want to launch a beehive where you don't have to get stung to get the honey. Now, I don't know about you, personally, I think beehives is a small market. Mm. I had a look yesterday, they're 12 days into funding, they've raised $6 million for a $70,000 campaign wow. already. I wow. don't know where I'll end up, seven, eight million dollars. Wow. They've shown a market that no one thought existed and a platform like Indiegogo was able to enable that. That I think is amazing. And again, we're not thematic investors, but when yeah. I look around and I look at drones, I think however big people think drone technology will be, they're wrong. Yeah. I think it's gonna be massive because mm. of all the drivers behind it in pushing more and more technology into lighter and lighter components to enable what's going on with drones. So I think it'll be fascinating, uh, the use case to come out of it. We're invested in Skycatch on the commercial side, and we've been blown away over the last two years, the commercial adoption. But I think it's gonna be very big for consumers as well. And bigger than just annoying your neighbors. John, uh, FF Venture Capital, where can people find, find you on the web and more about your company? Well, you can go to ffvc.com, freddyfreddyvictorcharlie.com, um, and uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at uh, j-o-h-n underscore frankel, f-r-a-n-k-e-l, and you know, come and check out some of the great companies we have. We invested across the U.S. consumer uh, uh, as well as enterprise, and um, we have some. You know, really unbelievable stories on a, you know, on deck. You should come and check us out. John Frankel, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you.